Okay, so I picked up uh, Harbor Freight wood chipper, and this is the one with the uh, six and a half horsepower 212 cc predator engine and uh, i've heard a lot of good things about this chipper and uh, i'm going to put it together now and there's only four things that you need to attach um, so it's pretty basic uh, i'm going to do the tires right now So basically you're just putting the tire on, then the washer, and then uh, placing a cotter pin. I need to go get uh, some needle nose pliers so I can bend that cotter pin. Okay, so this is the washer that you'll use on the tire and the cotter pin. And uh, that's all there is to uh, putting on the tires. Okay, next you're going to want to assemble the uh, front kickstand. And um, once you get the tires on, you can just lean it back. Uh, remember, this is straight out of the box. It's, it doesn't have any gas or oil in it, so you're not going to mess anything up there. All right, when you're mounting the kickstand, you're going to want to use this thick uh, rubber gasket or rubber uh, washer. And then this washer, and it's going to go like this, and this is going to go up against the uh, engine. Between the uh, kickstand and the engine, then you'll, you'll push this bolt through and then use a lock nut on the other side. Okay, once you've got your kickstand on, you can go ahead and lift this up. And uh, keep in mind that those rubber washers are kind of like shock absorbers. So um, once you start to see those squeeze in, uh, that's tight enough. You don't need to go any tighter than that. You've got a lock washer on the back. It's not gonna get loose. Okay, the bolts used to put on the uh, kickstand were half inch, and uh, the bolts that I'm gonna use to attach the handlebar are 10 millimeter. Okay, so here is uh, your oil input, and uh, it takes about half a quart. So you're going to want to fill that in, stick your dipstick in, 
and it should have about half, it should show oil about halfway up the dipstick. And that's the case, and it's full. And because of the location of the uh, oil inlet, uh, you're going to need a long funnel. The funnel that I was using wasn't nearly long enough, and uh, I spilled some oil. Uh, so get a funnel with a long spout. Okay, this is where uh, you fill up the gas, and you'll notice that there's a filter. And uh, when you fill up the gas, you want to fill it up to the bottom of the filter. Don't fill it all the way up. Now you're going to want to run this at low throttle. Um, they recommend up to three hours just to kind of break it in before you start running uh, branches through and start chipping. So uh, make sure that you do that. And that is, uh, on average, that's about almost a tank of gas. Okay, breaking period is over. It's time to uh, run some branches through this, see how it does. And you notice that I've got this bag. It comes with a bag that you just uh, wrap around the uh, output hole and just cinch it up. And that's what I've done. Looks like it holds quite a bit. So I'm going to give it a shot um, and that way I can just take the bag to wherever I need the mulch. So uh, let me go bring some branches over here and we'll run through it. All right, so I've run uh, enough brush through that to fill that bag. So let's talk a little bit about what you can actually run through here. So this top hopper is mainly for leaves and for small brush, um, about a half inch or less. And then this inlet here is for branches that are up to three inches in diameter um, keep in mind though I've 
I haven't tried this, but I've watched a few other videos and they say that uh, if you're gonna go three inches, it needs to be dry, uh, dry wood. But anything below that, two and a half, two or, or less, it can be green. But a three inch green board will uh, jam that up. Um, again, I haven't tried this, so I can't verify that, but uh, seems reasonable. So um, let's take this bag over to a location where I'm going to use some uh, some mulch and we'll see what it looks like. All right, this is what it looks like going through one time. Um, it's, it's chopped up pretty good, but it's not chopped up mulch quality. So I'm going to run all of this through a second time, see if we can't get it uh, into mulch quality. everything in the uh, cart through a second time so let's go ahead and take a look and see if that looks more like mulch Still a couple of twigs in there that didn't get chopped up, but for the most part, I think that looks pretty good. So what I've been noticing is that if the branches and shrubs that you're pushing through there are dry, they get chopped up really well. But if they're green, like pretty much everything that I'm pushing through, I did push through a couple of dry ones and notice the difference. But the green ones are a little bit pliable and elastic and they don't get chopped up as well. So you need to run those through twice to get it to uh, this consistency. But uh, I think that looks good. I can use that as mulch, no problem. All right, so what are my final thoughts? about the Harbor Freight Predator six and a half horsepower wood chipper. Well, uh, you guys saw the kind of uh, branches and shrubs that I uh, passed through it. They were nothing bigger than an inch, but they were pretty gnarly and twisted. And uh, it took everything that I gave it and uh, shredded it up without a hitch. It never jammed once. Um, and through here where you pass the smaller stuff in the leaves, um, I figured out that you can't just fill this hopper up to the top and expect it to go through. You have to, uh, for me, I would let things go through a handful at a time and even then let it slide down so that it's not all jammed in at once. If you do that, it works just fine. Um, I think it's uh, well built everywhere on this where there's a nut and a bolt they use lock nuts which is good because this thing does tend to shake i like the fact that it has this um, bag that can catch all of the uh, debris as it comes out and i like that each of the wheels has a lock that you push down to lock and you pull back up to unlock that's uh, real convenient 
and it does a good job of keeping this uh, stationary while you're running it. Um, it tends to run quite a bit on a single tank of gas. I like that and um, if you're looking to shred or chip a bunch of uh, brush, smaller limbs, three inches or less, two and a half inches or less, um, I think this is a good unit. If you're looking to create mulch, um, at least in my experience, you do have to run it through twice. Um, having the bag makes that pretty simple though. You just take the bag, dump it in a wheelbarrow or a cart, and then just hand feed it through um, the second time. And because it's already mulched up, it's all less than an inch, a half inch in diameter. So you can, the second time, you can just run it through the hopper. Um, but you saw how I had to do that a handful at a time. I'm okay with that, personally. Um, this mess here is really me spilling uh, stuff, transferring it to and from the hopper and to and from the bag. Um, so using the bag, it's relatively uh, mess-free. So those are all pluses. Um, it does have a couple of cons. Um, you do have to run it through twice in order to get mulch, but uh, you do get there, and uh, I'm okay with that. So, um, am I happy with this purchase? Um, I would say yes, um, because it did turn a lot of, you know, a couple of uh, stacks of um, brush into this. And uh, that's not bad. I can use that as mulch. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.